How to replace the thermal paste in a laptop. At the request of fans, today we're replacing the thermal paste on the MSI Raider GE77 2023. Let's reduce the CPU temperature by 3.2 degrees Celsius in six simple steps, easily improving your laptop's performance. Tutorials for replacing and upgrading thermal paste on laptops are available in the main tutorial collection on our homepage. You can also comment with your model if you need specific guidance. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Step 1. Get tools ready. Many tools are needed to replace the laptop's thermal paste. Apart from the thermal paste and thermal paste cleaning wipes, some gadgets can help you to disassemble the laptop much more easily. If you don't want to buy them separately, you can find our total solution combo in our profile. Step 2. Remove the laptop case and battery. Before you start disassembling the computer, it's highly recommended to wash your hands or wear gloves or an anti-static wristband to eliminate static electricity. With the laptop facing down, use a PH0 screwdriver to remove the 13 screws on the bottom cover. It is recommended to use a magnetic mat to prevent screws from getting mixed up or lost. Prepare a triangular pry tool and a spudger. Insert the triangular pry tool into the gap between the bottom cover and the chassis and slide it around the edges. Once the pry tool is inserted, move it up and down to make it easier to open the bottom cover. After opening the bottom cover, use the spudger to disconnect the power cable by pushing the sides of the connector outward. Once the power is disconnected, hold the power button for 15 seconds to discharge any remaining electricity. Step 3. Remove the heatsink and old thermal paste. Use the spudger to disconnect the power cables of the cooling fans on both sides. and remove the four screws securing each fan. Follow the numerical order and loosen the six screws on the thermal module. Use a high-quality screwdriver, such as the Cooling Monster Combo 01, and apply vertical pressure to prevent stripping the screws. Gently lift the heatsink from both sides and slowly remove it. Pay attention to the cable on the right side fan and remove it from the cable management slot beforehand. Clean the old thermal paste more efficiently, we recommend using Cooling Monster Clean 01 Thermal Paste Cleaning Wipes. If you're worried about getting your hands dirty, you can use the disposable gloves included in our kit. Here you can see, the thermal paste on the processor has dried up after years of use, reducing its cooling efficiency. It needs timely replacement. Make sure to clean off the remaining thermal paste from the cooling module. Step 4. Clean the fan. We use an anti-static brush and compressed air for the cleaning process. Use a PH000 screwdriver to remove the six screws on the fan and remove the fan. Use the anti-static brush to clean the dust off the fan blades and thermal module. When using compressed air, remember to keep a small distance to avoid spraying liquid. Using compressed air helps clean detailed areas and significantly improves dust removal efficiency. After completing the cleaning work, don't forget to clean the dust on the back panel.
Step 5. Apply Thermal Paste. Here we used Cooling Monster Cold 01 High Performance Thermal Paste. Apply an appropriate amount of thermal paste on the surfaces of the CPU and GPU. After applying the thermal paste, you can use the spatula to evenly spread out the thermal paste and remove the excess. You can also use the P-size method if you like. Step 6. Reassemble your laptop. Next, reassemble everything in reverse order. Reassemble the fan. Gently place the thermal module back into position. And tighten the screws in numerical order to about 70% tightness. Once all screws are in place, fully tighten them to avoid over tightening. Secure the cooling fan screws. Reconnect the fan power cables on both sides. And finally, reconnect the main power cable to the motherboard. Press the power button to ensure everything works properly. Snap the bottom cover back into place, secure the clips. And screw in all the screws on the bottom cover to complete the process. Follow and subscribe to Cooling Monster and let us know which laptops to demo this process with next.